Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha Shasha and today I'm going to be showing you how I made these beautiful resin Christmas decorations. Now the mould that I'm going to be using for today's craft comes from Larissi. As you know, that's also where I get my whole heap of glitter. So make sure that you definitely do check out my description box below for your cheeky little discount. These micro powders are from Arteza. I'll also link information about those below. Now my tree has a sort of loose theme on Cardcaptor Sakura in terms of colour. So I'm using pinks, golds and whites for my colour combinations. I've always wanted to have a very pink kind of Christmas so this seemed like the perfect opportunity. I am going to be making all six of these decorations in this video so make sure that you do grab yourself a cup of cocoa and enjoy. Before I started this craft, I wasn't actually entirely sure how I wanted each decoration to come out. All I knew was I wanted the theme to be pink, white and gold. So it was actually quite fun just to see how I could come up with different random designs. As you might have guessed, I am using UV resin for this project. So I'm using a smaller lamp for my flash curing and my larger lamp for a stronger full cure. This might actually be one of the slowest crafts that I've done um, in terms of UV resin anyway. This entire set took me four hours to make and you're seeing it all in just 10 minutes. <laughs> but it's because I wanted to be very intentional with where I placed things. Um, even though, you know, as I said before, I wasn't entirely sure how I wanted everything to turn out in the end. But I wanted to make sure that my placement was really clear and deliberate you know with the snowflake I really enjoyed pouring the colors on top of each other so that they kind of pushed each other outwards towards the edges I thought that that gave it a really nice touch Now getting the resin into the borders here, this part is very, very tricky. Here I'm showing you how I do my cleanup. I just simply have a wet wipe wrapped around my dotting tool and I'm really carefully just brushing away any of the excess. This took me a really long time to do, but it was definitely worth it in the end. This super, super thin dotting tool I got from Amazon. It came in a really big set actually with lots of different brushes, different tools. It came with other like stuff for nail art, some sequins and stuff. I'll try to uh, link it in the description box below as well because I think it's really, really handy. Now for this heart one, I really wanted to try a marbling effect. That's something that I'm really wanting to learn how to perfect really, because I've seen some amazing marbling techniques and it's not something that I do a lot of. Um, one thing I did realize was that it came out better on the top rather than the bottom. So <laughs> you'll see what I mean when I go to demold it. I also found that tapping the mould with the really tiny dotting tool was really handy for letting me know when the pieces were fully cured. 
If you're enjoying this slightly longer style of craft video, then please do let me know by hitting the like button so that I know to make more of these for you. Whenever I'm working with quite an intricate mold, I do find it handy to use a smaller lamp when it comes to flash curing. I don't like using my big massive lamp for that because it can get a little bit on the clumsy side. I like something that's small enough and light enough that I can just pick it up with one hand, do a really quick cure, and then put it back down again and you know, it's just nice and easy. Okay, now it's time to see how they all turned out. I'm giving the mold a little bit of a stretch just to make it a little bit easier to pop the pieces out. For the most part, they all popped out absolutely fine, but one of them was a little bit of a struggle. the struggle. Let me tell you, the struggle was real. My gloves ripped twice. I mean, come on. <laughs> but it was definitely worth it in the end. But it took a long time to get this snowflake out. I'm so happy that it didn't break because that's what I was most worried about. So as you can see here, this is the front of the marbled one and this is the back. Personally, I prefer the back. I just feel that you can see more of the swirls. So that's the side that I decided to use as the front piece of my decoration. Now it's time for me to add the string to my ornaments. So for some of them, I did it this way, whereby I just use a little bit of UV resin on the back and then domed the back of it with white UV resin. And then for other ones, I just drilled a hole in the top, mainly for the Christmas trees and also for the snowflake. And then I just simply looped the string through. One of my favorite things to do to all my resin pieces is to add embellishments. So these cute little moon and stars, they're also from Larissi. I absolutely love doing this because I just feel that it adds something a little bit extra to the resin pieces. Speaking of extra, this snowflake needs more snowflakes. <laughs> so I added one for each point. For the pieces that had embossed details, I used my Arteza acrylic marker and I just dotted in the paint and then just simply wiped it off. Baby wipes are fine to do this with, but I would personally advise using a touch of alcohol. So either an alcohol wipe or just get a little bit of uh, isopropyl rubbing alcohol onto your baby wipe. I just feel that it gives it a much cleaner finish. Okay, are we ready for the big reveal? So this is my tree, me and my darling son Riley, we decorated it together. He loves Cardcaptor Sakura as well. And my lovely friend Lucy, she actually crocheted this beautiful Kera-chan for him. And he wanted him to be up at the top of the tree. So of course he had to be the guardian angel. But look at how beautiful that these are against the tree. I'm so, so happy with the way that they all turned out. 
I definitely am a Christmas person. I love the twinkly lights. I love anything to do with like winter aesthetics, like snow, you know, anything to do with sparkles. I have a real love for baubles as well. Like this is very much my kind of bag. Let me know which decoration was your favorite. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the next one. Take care, my darlings, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.